Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, here back at Phoenix Strike Hot Dev of Interest. So, we're now going to go down to Mark Waters denying the Black Metal Letters anything to do with them, even though his prints are on it. And I bet a body limb is going to go down more and more that I'm, uh, we are just making things to go to our way because of past forgery case crimes, which I don't blame for having suspicions, but I'm, uh, yeah. Exactly. It's one thing to ha how do you exactly prove like you know you're trustworthy after all this? You just, the only thing you can be is like consistently do one thing or another, but eh. We have to prove something. Let's we don't have to get as much hostility, okay? Fine. Yeah, yeah, you go, tiger. No way, man. Part two. Still love that. Better than pretentious temperous templor of Cody Hackens away. Yeah, I got a sketchy note, but I, don't, I didn't know what it meant. Why would I go there at 6 in the morning for a blackmail letter that had no meaning to me? Hmm. Well, you're, den you're not denying like you got the letter, though. So literally, I'm uh, a body uh, choke on those words from the, for the letter. Yeah, you know, I really, I really can't tell you why your valleys even sent me something like that. I didn't know. I didn't show up. It's simple. There. You happy? Not yet. What's it gonna take to convince you it didn't kill anyone? You can't convince me of something that I know that I know isn't true. Probably instead of trying to convince each other, you two should focus on convincing the rest of this court. Needless banter before a needless testimony. You kinda do that a few times too. The cross examination right. You got it, boss. Yeah. No way, man! Part two. I got a sketchy note, but I didn't know what it meant. Well, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. You, you don't want your secret life going out. You eat circus peanuts? No one needs to know about that. No one. It's the most shameful thing you can do. Definitely not going to go after this episode and eat those. <laughs> I like those. The letter has your prints and your valets. You got it from him. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I ever made anything of it. I just saw a bunch of vague threads, that's all. It's a blackmail note to you from the victim. Let's not try and make excuses here. Objection. The witnesses and prosecution's argument is that Mr. Waters never responded. Look at the letter again and you will see no spe specifics are stated. It is therefore completely reasonable to assume he did not know who came from. Well, did he just leave? Well, I guess he's gonna go with the whole thing. Hmm. I guess it's true too. Next time, try giving some solid evidence before you make an accusation. Yeah. Why would I go there at 6 in the morning for a black letter that had no meaning to me? Hmm. Maybe you found it and wanted to investigate? Investigate what? Come to my place and exactly a great description of where to meet. Well, I mean, there's a there's, there's really this great new restaurant that's down, down the street that's called My Place. Did you tell me you've never been? Oh. Man, you you don't know the latest trends. Hey, the entire note's pretty vague. The target is never identified and it isn't even signed. You have no way of proving that it was aimed at me. Only somebody who knew about the nose context would understand what it meant. Waters has to realize this. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I really can't tell you why River Valley's even sent me something like that. Hmm. We're just going to have the supposition that it was River Valley's who did it. Hmm. It's interesting, don't you think? You got this from him, and now you're heading to the investigation for his murder? Hey, hey, hey! Don't try pulling that card! That's just a detective, man! That's got nothing to do with it! I'm being very laid back and carefree this investigation. A bit more so than a help from a police detective. If I may, the detective has always been somewhat lackluster in his duties. But behavior is typical for him. Yeah, that's right. I mean, hey! God. His laziness and ineptitude shouldn't be confused for corruption. Hey, come on, boss! I can't tell whether he's trying to defend him or not. It's a mixture of the two, I'm not like, like insulting him almost just to prove he's innocent. It's it's it, it's good stuff. Since I didn't know, I didn't show up. It's simple. Hmm. So we need to prove that it actually is Ravalli's. It's simple with a hit list. Comparison to symbols. Didn't show up, huh? That's right. But didn't understand the note. I wouldn't have any reason to go to the tower. That punches a big, huge hole right through your little theory, doesn't it? First, you need an owl to punch through a hole onto paper. It's not logic. If you didn't understand it, then you would have had a reason to go. Yeah, well, but I didn't, so ha! There! That's not a very compelling re 
reason or argument you're giving. Hey, it's real simple, man. Either I did or I didn't. You haven't proven that I did. It isn't simple. These things are never are. Nick, did you really mean what you said? That you can prove he responded to the blackmail letter? Hmm. It's almost too easy. He didn't do a very good job of covering his tracks. Well, if you say so. There are things point to this man. Just need to hit him so hard he can't recover. Is this thing he didn't cover up? I didn't know what it meant. Okay, so... Exactly what about the note that proves he definitely know about it? My only first guess would be the hit list. It would be. And what's this again? Well, that's the note for Gumshoe. What is Gumshoe's role in all this either, too? He just came here to talk to somebody right before the murder happened? And then was knocked in the head by a gun? That was fall off the top of a 30-story building? So... Huh... I'm gonna read through this again, too. Mark Moore's investigation has shown a little progress so far. His team is working almost 24 hour schedule. No solid evidence, there's no known suspects. They're, with, with, the victims' names generally withheld from the Hellicar are passed off as separate cases. Vigilante and serial killer were murdered to serve the guests of the city. Wear night armor. Hmm. Large blade weapon. Don't utilize other methods of each crime release behind a symbol, drama blood, which allows the police to identify murders. Oh, that's what it was, drama blood. And we didn't I mean we didn't think see, think that to spray the whole bay warehouse with a, a thing? Okay. Well that explains why we can't find it. Because we didn't spray for blood there. God. But we don't know what the mark looks like, the symbol, so. And these are all the victims. Went to him all had a connection to their eyes, crime syndicate. Have a grudge against the group. Hmm. I'm gonna go there at six in the morning for a blood in the letter that had no meaning to me. You know, I really can't tell you why my valleys would be in something like that. The only thing. It could be, like, something about the hit list, too? But, like, exactly what would you have, like, the blackmail, though? That makes little sense, then. So, like, he must know something about what you have? The only thing we have that we know for sure, technically, is that the connection between them. Uh, Cinder Waters was killed by Lower Valley's family, and somehow still Micro Valley is this blackmail against you? Hmm. I didn't know, I didn't show up. It's simple. Huh. This is a bit more abstract or complex to figure things out. So he probably basically knows what the letter was talking about, the blackmail letter. So let's see. I know you're holding back. If you don't want anybody to know the big secret, big secret, come to my place Saturday at 6 a.m. Come alone. We'll discuss things further then. You don't want anyone to know the big secret? You're holding back. Okay. Literally the only thing I could think of at the top of my head that, like, you know, proves it was some kind of letter is the hit list, but, like, maybe we'll discover that after the fact, so... Hmm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Literally, we just proved that you were there the, from the very start from this... the gun with your fingerprints on it. It's... Hmm. I mean, it kind of makes sense at the same time, but confused exactly. Hmm. You did show up at the Tower Waters. This gun proves it. Your fingerprints are all over it. <laughs> you hear that? My fingerprints are on it. What is so funny, Mr. Waters? That gun belongs to me. Of course my fingerprints are on it. Then, wait, then why is Michael Raleigh's fingerprints on it then, too? You know what else? It wasn't even the crime scene. For all you know, I might have just been gone run over by a car or something. Your fingerprints aren't the only ones on it. The victims are too. Tell me, Detective, just how many times have you been in a situation where Michael Ravales, leader of the city's underworld, has had a chance to hold your gun? There's only one way that would that could have happened, and that's if you met with him. Admit it, Waters, you met with, with Ravales. I'm not sure how or why it happened, but at some point he touched that revolver. It does prove that he was there. At least they interact with each other, very least. Okay, that makes sense to me. Dude, who cares about a gun? Are you fucking serious? 
The Valley's was killed with a blade, remember? Yeah, but it doesn't prove that the gun was discharged. Even Cody, like, mentioned about flash of light? Yes, I recall that. But we're dealing with a crime where supposedly nobody else has seen. If Valley's held your gun, then we know you were there too. Plus, somebody fired it. There was a clear intent to kill. What do you just say to that? Fine, I went there. I was in the penthouse. What? Waters? I never said it was the day he died. I was there the night before. Maybe I just forgot my gun there. Besides, it's not like he could prove I'm the one who shot it. Old Mikey's prints are there just the same. Like, with the same... W That's another thing. Okay, is the... Did... There's prints on the gun, so is there... Is the prints that was on the trigger in the grip of the gun, like Micro Valley's, or Lily? Is it just prints on the gun where Micro Valley was struggling with the gun against, you know, Mark Waters? Nick, didn't you say that the fingerprints were from the past few days? Yes, I did. So that means there's no real way to prove that he was there when the murder happened. No, there still is. We just need to use something else. And this gun's usefulness is worn off. The fence can still prove that Waters was there the crime time of the crime. The time of the crime of the murders. In fact, he told somebody he would be there. Oh, the note. This piece of evidence will reveal everything. So we're going with um, a letter for Ricky. I'd like the court to look at this letter. Would you care to read it for us, Mr. Williamson? It reads, Rick, I need your help. It's important. Please meet me tomorrow at 5.20 a.m. Don't tell me when you're coming. It isn't signed. If it's not signed, that means you can't prove anything. Maybe I can't, but there's somebody out there who can. Who's that? Rick? Rick. A person named Rick met with the author's note. He can tell us everything. Who is Rick? I don't know any Rick. Actually, Your Honor, I, 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 just say, like, I know who it is. Just just say that. Uh, hi there, Mr. Rick. Everybody here has met Rick before. He's none other than Detective Dick Gumshoe. Ricky! No! You want us to have Detective Gumshoe testify? If Gumshoe is the Rick in question, then all our questions can be answered. If not, then you have nothing to worry about. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Williamson? Yes, yes, I'll allow him to testify. We're well, definitely becoming more and more accepting of this. But, 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 but. Why are you starting to look nervous? I think he's finally realizing how bad things are for him. There, they definitely are. Oh, we're, okay, we're having a. a, a Having a break? Okay, you didn't mention that. I'm a judgy wudgy. You got him! That guy's cornered, Mr. Wright. As soon as Gumshoe takes the stand, we can expose Waters' excuses for the lies they are. Do you think he'll try and lie to protect his friend? I don't believe that Gumshoe would do that. What I'm worried about is his amnesia. Uh, amnesia? Gumshoe can't remember a lot of what happened that morning. Yes, concussions can do that to you. Well, I'd say that, but I haven't been in many myself. Oh, that's no good! Indeed. I wonder how I'm gonna manage to get past that. Well, I just got a neuroscientist in here. The, the poking prod. I think they're about ready, Nick. It's almost over, Maya. Just a little more, and we'll have him. Right. Something wrong? No. I'm fine. I just feel like... Maybe something's not right here. That's funny. I wonder what was bothering her. Huh. Please say your name and occupation. Uh, Dick Gumshoe, I'm a homicide detective. Hi there, Ricky Gummy. Detective, I understand that you were injured recently? Uh, yes sir, I got hit in the head pretty badly. Dick Gumshoe has recovered physically, but is still suffering from amnesia. So he's recovered physically, but not mentally, are you saying? Oh, yay. His testimony may be rather limited. Uh, sorry sir, I'll do my best. No, we blame you if you can't remember anything. My entire case is resting on Gumshoe now. If this doesn't work... The Gumshoe, I would like for you to please tell us everything that you can remember. You got it, Your Honor. Okay. Okay, come on, pal. You can do this. That morning downtown. Just taking a stroll on, on, on the city. That's right, pal. I met with Rick. Yeah, yeah, I met with Rick. He might help with something. So we met at a place at a time. He brought something with him. I brought something with me, too. What? Well, this is no good. I could have figured out everything he just said from that letter. I suspected the testimony is rather vague. I'm afraid we won't be getting much out of it. Uh, sorry, sir. I wish I could help more. 
I don't doubt that, Detective. However, in your condition, it looks like you won't be able to do much else. Hold on, I still need to cross-examine him. I'm not sure what you were hoping to find, Mr. Wright. The witness clearly doesn't remember anything. But you do have a right to cross-examine him. You may proceed. Hmm. It's literally just him just reminding him of certain things. That morning downtown. That's right, I met with Rick. I met with Rick! <laughs> Gumshoe? Uh, yeah? You couldn't have met with Rick. What do you mean? Of course I did, pal! Uh, no, Gumshoe, you're Rick. Oh, oh, you're right! I, I am! I have filmed the rest of this testimony, right? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I met with somebody that morning. Uh, yeah, you, you sure did. Can you remember who it was? Nope. If I did, we wouldn't be still be here. Maybe it was someone you know well. Someone you work with? I couldn't tell you, pal. I think I'm just asking the wrong questions. I should try approaching this from a different angle. What did you two meet for? Well, you see, pal... You need my help with something. Uh, nice. Uh, was it something or something? So the person you met with was a he? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? Is it a nation really that bad? This narrows down our list of selects approximately half the city. What do you need your help with? I don't know. I wonder how many times I'll have to hear that phrase. Whoever he was, he must have needed me pretty badly. What makes you say that? Well, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have brought me out there that early for no good reason, right? I knew how to be important, so I went to help him. And hard enough to remember, maybe? Not enough. It's not that important. Guess not. Poor Gumshoe. So we met at a place at a time. I wonder if this thing we had to present, like, the location or something? Well, I don't think we have evidence or anything like that to present them, uh, you were here at this time. Yeah. A place at a time? That's right. Maybe I should help him out a bit. A place at a time? Oh god, what are we supposed to prove with this, though? Just say you were outside? Do we just have to present the letter again? In a place at a time? Like, it literally says, well, the letter doesn't say anything about going being outside. Yes, yeah, this is meet me by the Valley's Tower tomorrow. It literally says that, so. I'm sure I think I might know where and where where and when you met. Did you by any chance meet at 520 near the Ravalli's Tower? You know, now that you mention it, I think that's right, pal. Aha. <laughs> I met with somebody that morning. Is it changed? Okay, that's not changed. Somebody I met with somebody that morning. He might help with something. So the person you met with was a he? Yeah, how'd you know? Okay, it's the same thing, so. Probably the early morning, the reason. I met a little after 5 a.m. somewhere near Valley's Tower. Okay. Is it a good place to start anyway? Right next to the tower? That's right, we were supposed to meet up there. That's exactly what the note said. I wonder if there's anything else we can find out about this. By near, do you mean outside the sidewalk? Uh, no, I don't think that was it. I mean, I must have gone out later, since I got hit, but before I think we were inside and, uh... No, maybe that's not it. Maybe we were outside the whole time and... Oh, no. Must be really hard for him. I have to keep pushing in the right direction, though. Come shoot, I think we can specify things even more here. This can show the exact location of your meeting. The exact location of your meeting? The exact location? Wouldn't there be security systems before, like for the 520 that happened way before, right? Objection. No, okay. Well, like, um, uh, when did the power outage happen? 520. Literally, you were out there at 520. So they must have caught, caught someone walking around there. I thought it would work. 538. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so approve the where you are out there. Unless they were out of eyesight of the building, the security cameras, which, yeah, that makes make sense. Okay. It, it was a lead, anyway. Maybe they go through that again with somebody that morning. Somewhere. Okay, but where would be a place to prove exactly where they were? Prove where exactly they were. Wait, was the wait, was the letter always there in the building and it was left behind? Is that Lily yet? That 
could make sense. They were near the. If they were waiting, if Gumshoe was waiting inside the building the whole time, then that was up there. Then literally, Sir Galante came into the exact same building to hide evidence? Wait, then. If Mark Waters is there and Gumshoe's supposed to be inside there, then. What? Then Sir Galante would definitely have met with Gumshoe. Wait, they met inside the building. Maybe the letter was dropped there, they went outside, then Gumshoe got hit with a gun, got a concussion, got knocked unconscious, and then Sir Galante went through there, but... That wouldn't exactly ensure that, you know, Gumshoe wouldn't see Sir Galante go into the warehouse. Hmm. I'm trying to think of placing this. It could just be inside it? Well, let's go with that. It's, it's a lead to anything else. Near the sidewalk. I don't think it was. It was nearby the building, and it's it like the building that, that Virgil found that note is across the street. So let's just uh, just be sure because I'm low on, on health, and most of the mistakes so far are actually my fault of just not understanding things. So it would be the note says it was invest that Virgil found it in the abandoned building across the Rally's Tower. This could be a good place. Anything? Would this jog your memory? I uh, can't say that it would. But we happen to find this in an abandoned warehouse across the street from River Valley Tower. Letter addressed to Rick. The fact that this was found in the warehouse is pretty solid proof that meeting took place there. Well, Gumshoe. Doesn't look like the witness can remember. No. I don't think that did anything. Hmm. Somebody that morning. That's somewhere near the Rally's Tower. He brought something with him. I'm assuming if we're gonna go with this Mark Waters, then he brought a gun. Was this something important? It must have been. What do you remember about it? Oh, well, nothing really. Except that it kind of made me scared. Yeah, definitely gun. You scared? It must have been a very powerful emotion for him to remember it so well. What were you afraid of? I can't remember exactly, pal. But I think that I wasn't really afraid. I wasn't really afraid for myself. I was scared for the other guy. What does that mean? Okay, so we're just... Okay, are we going to present him uh, the gun? That... That could actually work. Like, you know, a powerful emotion, like, you're, like you know... Bringing a gun that would definitely give up strong emotions. Especially if it's aimed at you. Let's go with that. Objection! Yeah! You said that this item made you feel scared, right? Uh, that's right, pal. Well, it just so happens that I have something that most people would find to be very scary. A knife! A gun. Hey, be careful, those pal. Why? Did, wait, Phoenix, are you actually just holding it with your bare hands and waving around the courtroom, not in a plastic baggie? You shook your eye out. With a Red Rider BB gun. Not with this one. It's broken. Remember? No, it didn't. It hit you in the head. Perhaps we should continue with the cross-examination. Dang it! Come on, Gumshoe. Remember. Okay, we got to memory for three different things. Have somebody that morning. So, can we just present like Mark Waters' thing? Can you remember who it was? Nope. If I did, we wouldn't still be here. Maybe someone you know well? Someone you work with? Uh, I couldn't tell you, pal. If I'm just asking the wrong questions. I should have tried to push the different angle. What did you meet for? Let's see, okay. Don't know if we can present profiles. Can we present profiles? Yeah, we can. Okay. Just no, for sure. Uh, okay, if we get rid of all the other statements here, I brought something with me too. I don't know what, what, what would that be. Could you describe what you brought? Uh, sure, pal. Really? This is great. It was some kind of letter, I think. Somebody wrote it to me. Huh. A letter. Are we literally just going to keep bringing up the, the, the note that was addressed to you? Well, that's better than nothing. So I'll ask some things in his testimony. Doesn't need to figure out what they all are. If you can't remember, then we're in trouble. Well, that's short and concise, so if it's a letter, then most likely it has to be the letter that you that I'm uh that was given to you. Objection. Yep, most likely. And I think we jogged his memory in all the statements except for who he met with. Gumshoe, was this what you brought? Well it makes you say that. Somebody called you to Revalley's Tower. This note proves that much. You brought it there, and then discarded it later. 
You know, you weren't the only one who was called there. There wasn't a person. I'm willing to bet it was the man who sent you that note. Please? Something? <laughs> well, I think that's about, that's about enough. Oh, God, no. Detective, I'm sorry to say this, but your testimony is a bit too vague for me to accept. Oh, sorry for wasting your time, everyone. No, not yet. I'm not finished. So far, all you've done is prove that he didn't meet with himself. What? I guess you're right. There's no way I could have met with Rick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you've heard enough. I see no reason to prolong this trial. Gah! Not even mention it, though. He did kind of look like, like a Rick. Maybe we have the same name? Gum Gumshoe, what did you say? Huh? Did you say that you remember what he looked like? Yeah! Quick, describe him! What did he look like? Whoa, wait a minute. Was it Mark Waters? Oh my god. Stop trying to lead the witness. It wouldn't matter anyway. I can't remember what Mark looks like. Wait, you can't? This is great. Well, I mean, not for Gumshoe, but... <laughs> Mr. Wright, you seem to be very interested in this. Of course, Your Honor. He can remember what the other man looked like. It's definitely important. Detective, please revise your testimony. Uh, yes, sir, Your Honor. It's just turned the entire case back in our favor. Then it's going to be a thing where it's not Waters? If he doesn't know what it looked like? Remember somebody that morning. Okay, we're going to... Okay, so what did you just remember? Can you remember who it was? Nope. But you remember what he looked like? When he's still here, it was something you know what I was going with. To meet for... Is there a new statement? I can still remember what he looked like. Okay. You can remember? Tell us! Well, it's kind of hard to describe him. He was just an ordinary guy. Ordinary? Uh, Mark Waters is like, is like... Just a... He's black hair and is like, you know, a punk rock guy. <laughs> was he tall? Short? Fat? Thin? Uh, not really any of those. Did he have any distinguishing features? Tattoos? Scars? Not that I remember. Would you remember him if you saw him? Oh yeah, right away. Bingo. He did it again, Phoenix. Something's in his testimony. Okay, so will we just present Mark Waters then? I mean, so far there's no one else we can like pinpoint to how else. I can still remember what he looked like. Uh, what the heck happened? Okay, I actually clicked off his message nice. That's actually kind of hilarious. Okay. Gumshoe, did the man you meet with happen to look like this? No! <laughs> Your Honor, yes, this case is very clear. I see no reason to. You really just want to leave the case off here instead of just close the cross-examination. Why? Wait a minute. Yes? I... I remember. Hi. Uh, yeah, pal, it's all coming back to me. That man, he's the one. We all know who the man in that photo is. It's Detective Mark Waters. What? Objection, Your Honor. I'll shut up you. Ruled? That's right, Mark was there. He was really on edge. He had that blackmail letter and his gun with him. I took the yellow letter with me because I was confused about it. The yellow letter? Yellow? It explained everything to me. I sat down on one of the crates and left it there. But it was on the ground. Mark told me that he was going to go meet with micro valets. He knew it was too dangerous to go in there alone, though, so he had me wait outside. As backup. That way, if anything went wrong for him, you would be waiting right outside the front door. What? Backup with... <laughs> That's a weird backup system if you're going to be waiting in the very bottom floor and when you're going and Mark Waters is going to be in the top exact floor of the penthouse. That's going to be... Yeah, great backup. Did I come shoot to the rescue, pal? That's like, did go wrong. Why was he never alerted? I think that part's pretty clear. He was unconscious. He could have known whether or not his help was needed. I think we talked for about 20 minutes before he went in. That'll mean he went in during the blackout. Ah! Okay, that makes sense why cameras would pick him up, because they'd be careful not to be near the building. And they met inside the band warehouse. Okay. I tried to talk, talk him out of it, but he wouldn't listen. 
I was worried you might do something really stupid. Something really stupid. You know what this means? All the evidence I had earlier? I now have a witness to back it up. Gumshoe has just testified that he met with Waters that morning. He entered the Bernalis Tower, and he looked frightened enough to do something very, very stupid. Assume mistake, like perhaps murder? Not so fast. You're a real piece of work. You know that, right? Uh, I mean, they just come out, uh, they, they literally just admit it that you were there. Yeah. Waters. What is this music? Is this from Professor Lane? It, it sounds like it could be from there. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it could be there. The, just the music definitely matches up. The, Maybe you're still forgetting that there was nowhere for me to hide in that building. I need to get into that penthouse, right? So how'd I do it? How'd I get in there? I would've had to sneak past Sarah Keys. He's right, you still haven't shown how he got up there in the first place. And let me explain. Sarah's distracted, it was too dark, he sneaked past. It really could be just all three. He, but she was distracted, though. He managed to slip past her while she was distracted. By what? It better have been big for her to completely overlook a man running through the hallway. No, it wasn't big at all. It was her cell phone. Her cell phone? Sarah made it very clear today that she lost her phone during the blackout. The entire time she was looking for it. And she wasn't at her post when she was doing it. <laughs> was that the kind of, I should expect that that's much for her? In any case, this removes the possibility of her serving as a witness for you. <laughs> yeah. Too bad you can't bring her to testify against me. Looks like you're out of luck, man. Not yet. There's still one more person who might know if you were there. One more person? One more person. One more person. My first two thoughts was either it could be... Would it be either... Wayne Parker? Because he was in the room. And if not, then like... He would, like, you know, if he left in that, he would have to go down the stairs. And, like, the power was out, the elevator, you definitely would have to meet each other then. Or you hid there, so... Or it could be Cody Hackins, but he didn't... But I don't think he mentioned anything about a gumshoe, so... That narrows it down to him? But because I, I don't trust myself... <laughs> Mr. Parker. Huh? We already know that he left during the blackout. You both would have had to take the stairs while you were leaving and entering. If you two weren't there at the same time, there's no way he could have missed you. Then why do you bring up there was someone else there? Parker! Well, Waters, shall we have my client testify as to whether or not he saw you? Damn it! So no, you don't want that? You might as well be confessing. No, that's not what I meant. Detective, I don't believe you like just how guilty you made yourself look. Waters. Hey, I didn't mean that. I just got a little carried away, is all. I believe that's something we can let the jury decide. Oh yeah, I keep fucking forgetting that the fucking jury system is a thing. God damn it. Uh, I wish they actually bring it up more so I can actually, so we can actually bring it up more. <laughs> Your Honor, if I may, I'd like to continue the trial just a little bit longer. You already proven that we have a new suspect. Let's just finish this. Not quite, Williamson. Yesterday, you said something that I believe also applies right now. We can't have that man walking away only charged with one murder now, can we? It would be an injustice to the dead. Wait, but that's... Are you... Oh, I am. Mark Waters, you are Sir Galante. Hey! Hold it, this doesn't even make a lick of sense. Well, we're ruled. Let's hear what the defense has to say. The prosecution's case for this being a Galante killing hasn't made any sense since this case started. There hasn't been any evidence to support it. The mark was never found, and it wasn't until later that they learned about Cody's photograph. Well, we never really sprayed the abandoned building, and I don't think I don't think the police actually have it there, so this could be Sir Galante killing for all we know. And, and if it is, then I'm, uh, he did a very weird job of like bringing Gumshoe there and putting the mark there. That's almost asking to be accused of each other, huh? So tell me, Waters, why are you so certain that Sir Galante was the culprit here? Well, I... well, it's actually a funny story, because... You knew because you were the killer! It was you! No! Detective, don't make this harder than yourself. 
I don't know why it's impossible for you to be Galante. You do? Why don't you just explain it so we can end this farce? Okay, boss. I'll do that. Are you going to say you have an alibi for the other Sir Galante ki killings? I would definitely put a damper on that. The real Sir Galante. Oh, the Galleon Knight in shining armor. Hey man, I'm just a detective, alright? There were lots of people who knew about Sir Galante. By your logic, I could have been any one of them. Besides, we've been doing just fine the investigation. I call bullshit. Before Parker came along, we had tons of potential suspects. And I definitely wasn't one of them. Hmm. That's all? I was expecting the great terror of the underworld to go go up better go up better go up with better than that. Hey man, I'm not some crazy knight wannabe. Well, you don't like medieval stuff? Oh, well, it's kind of cool. I mean, I don't like it too much, but it, it looks cool. Is there any way you? Is there any way? No way you'll prove it. There's no mask for you to hide behind now. This time, I'll show everybody here the true monster that you are. And with that, this would be a good place to leave it off. We're narrowing down this case bit by bit, and we'll soon get to the end of this. Maybe next time. So. For a fun time watch as I am playing this, hope you see me next time, what time may be, and I'll hope a fantastic day.